what is going on guys? We are back with the Coyote Swap Fox. We got the single turbo done by uh, Storm and Performance and it's time to get this ready to run much faster. Uh, we think that we were experiencing some valve flow when the wastegate failed. The wastegate was sending 22 pounds of boost through this thing. It was breaking up on top. Uh, I think we trapped nearly 160 in the quarter, which is pretty rowdy, um, but it was breaking up. So we did 128 in the eighth, well, 160 in the quarter. Um, we're ready to make some serious power. I really want to get this thing on a dyno. Uh, we've been talking to a, a local shop down here, so we'll probably bring it over there. See what it makes for power on this uh, stock Gen 1 truck motor. and. Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna hop into it. I'm gonna pull the car apart tonight, and then uh, Brad is gonna be working on the valve springs tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll get her back together, get her dialed. We got some 2020 GT500 valve covers. So they're gonna look sick on it. And really, I'm, I'm excited to see, I mean, what we can do four digit wise for the horsepower. So stay tuned. All right, so uh, I got a little bit of this torn apart last night. Give Brad a little head start. He got the balancer off, the valve cover, his timing cover off. He is going to be pulling the cams out. I guess I should talk about why you would do valve springs. Um, stock valve springs, uh, they have a certain seat pressure and when you're pushing so much boost, possibly with the turbo that came with the GON3 kit, uh, we might have been running into some back pressure issues, which are not going to help. But essentially, the, the valves are not doing what they're supposed to do at that higher boost. And uh, that's what we assume is causing uh, that hesitation. 22 pounds of boost on stock valve springs. I talked to many guys out there who are running high horsepower turbo applications, and they said we were crazy for trying to do that. Granted, we weren't trying to do that. We were commanding like 13 to 15 pounds of boost. When the wastegate failed, um, center to the moon but good thing we got the fuel system to support it tune up wise is good so now we're actually going to try to target like 22 pounds and my guess is i should put it in i don't know thousand to 1200 wheel i guess we'll see how this thing flows uh, these are gen 1 heads so gen 1 cams but um yeah we'll see what happens so just a stock truck motor you know gen 1 truck motor yeah just a stock gen 1 truck motor send the rods to the moon boys <laughs> Interruptions. Look at this guy. Yeah, look at that hat right there. Get that on Must MustangLifestyle.net. All right. So, changing out these springs here. We got our Euro import tool. It bolts on top where the cam caps go. And we have a bolt here pushes down on this little guy here, it compresses the spring. We got our air tool, pushing air into the, into the cylinder, keeping the spring up, or the valve up. So we roll the bolt down, so the keepers are loose, pull them out with our magnet, and we can Pull out our spring. There's our new spring, nice and shiny. Put it 
Install the compressor. So you can see on the valve down here, you got those ridges. They actually match up with the ridges on your retainers. So what I'll do now is I'll take Andy Danny screwdriver, put a little bit of this grease on there. All that's there for is to hold that guy just like that. You come in, stick it right on top of the valve. So, still got a little bit on there. The other one, line them both up. And release the tension. And we're done. And that's how you do a valve spring? That's how you do a valve spring. Now I just need to repeat it 31 times. For performance, GT500 valve covers. Nice aluminum, comes with the gaskets, got a nice baffle already in there, and comes with bolts and the oil cap. Those things alone, if you buy just the GT500, you're probably looking to spend 50 to 60 bucks. So buy the kit, save yourself some money. So one thing that we do have to do, these fittings here for the PCV system, you do have to take them off your stock covers. If you don't have stock covers, you will need to order them or find someone who has some. So we got the one here and we got the one over here. This right here is a GT350, GT500 dipstick tube. It's gonna slide right in here and twist on. There you go. guys so that completes it we've upgraded the valve springs on the sketchy fox we've added these nice gt500 valve covers from ford performance which they're still ford racing but for performance of this so with all that next we're going to work on putting everything back together get this car up and running hopefully get it on the dyno into the track within the next week or so so it can run sevens? Whatever it does. That's fast. <laughs>